Hello cuties! Today's video, we are trying two types of crispy, mouth-watering Taiwanese fried chicken. Best part? I am bringing along some of my viewers here in Taipei. Our destination is a night market shop called Monga Fried Chicken. All right, so we gotta wait about 10 minutes to get our fried chicken. That's when you know it's instant, right? They make it right here. The total for, I ordered two chicken filet, a whole chicken nugget thing for $1.95, which is around $6. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's talk cooking. Giant chicken filets are dipped into gooey batter, fried, and intensely, and I mean intensely seasoned. You can already tell, it's going to be an epic meal. I have two in my hand, no shame. This is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> this is the size of my face. That is insane. Can you believe this right here is only, what is it, $2? This right here is seaweed flake, so it's gonna give you a sweet and salty flavor. I'm actually curious if there's bones in here. As of now, it looks like just a huge giant filet of meat. I have the original flavor and I'm literally salivating right now. I can't wait to bite into this amazing fried chicken. Okay, oh. Should I just go for the tip? Should I, just the tip? Just tip. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go right here, ready? Mm. 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 Do you see this juicy white meat? Oh, that is so good. Mm. The best thing about fried chicken is you got all that oil and juices, it just moisturizes the meat inside, so it's tender, it's nice. I have to take one more bite, this is just so good. Mm. It's not dry at all. And the seasoning, absolutely delicious. Okay, this is just way too much food, there's no way I can possibly finish, so let's share with the fam. This is his first time in Taipei, Taiwan, and it's his first time trying this humongous chicken filet. <laughs> Are you ready, Spencer? Am I just gonna like take a bite out of it? Yeah, just take a bite out of it. Oh my gosh. That was so juicy. It's so juicy. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> it's really good, right? Just one more bite. Just one bite. <laughs> it's excellent. It's excellent. It's talking on that mouthful, but it's excellent. <laughs> what do you think this compared to KFC? I don't know, KFC's got that good skin though. It's got that good skin, it's true. I don't know. Can't compare, right? But this tastes better than KFC, but KFC, that skin. He knows what's up. <laughs> I'm here with Aaron, and Aaron actually lives here, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm Taiwanese. We are very familiar with this kind of food. Mm. It's good? Yeah, it's good. How is this compared to other chicken fillets you tried here? I think the, the skin is very crispy, mm. and then the Meat also juicy. It's really yeah. juicy, right? Look how big it is. She has to use two hands. Yeah, our face. It's, it's, it's bigger than, than our face. face. I know. <laughs> I'm here with Amelia from Indonesia. Indonesia and Alex from, from Russia. From Russia, all the way from Russia. Yeah. Right over here, we have smaller pieces of the fried chicken fillet. You know, more digestible. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. I want one too. Mm, that's good. What do you think? Is it good? Yeah, I think it's quite nice, yeah. It's quite nice? Mm. Do you have something like this uh, back home? No, I think we don't have it. It's really special. It's very special mm. here. Awesome. What do you think, Emilia? I know there's fried chicken in Indonesia and it's really good. <laughs> I think it's almost delicious. You think it's really good? Yeah. Have you had better or do you think this is one of the best? This is one of the best. One yeah, of the best? You yeah. think so? Yeah, yeah. It's just like perfect. It's not spicy because I can really spice it. Oh, you can't eat spicy? Yeah, no, oh, no, no. welcome to Taiwan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> welcome to Asia. You thought that was it. I'm not done yet. I have an entire whole chicken right here that's not been eaten. Look at this. 
I'm just like slowly undressing this so that, oh my gosh. Well, I'm gonna bite into this one. This one's a little bit special because it's got seaweed seasoning on top. It's supposed to make it sweet and salty. So we're gonna see if that's true, ready? As you can tell, the skin is kind of the star of the show. It's crispy. It's not overly burnt. It's got a nice texture there. This chicken filet gets a five out of five nom for me. It is delicious. I can see why it's so, so popular. place with just me and Kevin the cameraman so this right here is called Shen Suji and if you live in the States or anywhere else honestly you go into a milk tea place you probably have tried popcorn chicken right just like a bag with fried pieces of chicken with seasoning but here in Taiwan it's not just little pieces of chicken it's a whole spread of items check this out when you get here you take a menu you write down what you want you hand it over and what the chef's gonna start doing is take everything that you order mix it in together put seasoning deep fry it and put it into a bag of deliciousness for you to enjoy this brings back a lot of memory because when I was small growing up in Pingdong we eat a lot of xiaoye which is midnight snacks so our xiaoye was always coming to a popcorn chicken place and ordering a bunch of stuff, coming home with a big bag, dumping it onto a plate and then getting a toothpick and just like picking at veggies or tofu or chicken. It was absolutely delightful. So this type of food really holds a dear place in my heart. I got my chicken. I'm a little bit surprised. Usually what they do is they put all of this together into one big bag. So you just have a mixture of different items, but I don't know why, but this restaurant, uh, they have it in separate bags. So when I go get Shen Suji, I just go to like a little stall, a little cart on the side of the street, and then I just order, and then they just put everything in one bag. So it was a little bit different because they separated it out, but that's fine because the taste is what matters. Look at the spread of different things. Here in Asia, we really like to have multiple dishes. So not just one thing, we like to try and sample a little bit of everything. Of course, we gotta dig into the chicken right here. Check these out. Oh, these are beautiful chicken pieces. Sometimes when I get popcorn chicken in the States, it's mostly just batter and dried up skin. But here you can tell it's a thick piece of meat. Oh, I'm so excited to bite into it. That was really, really delicious. Let me tell you why. The batter to meat level is amazing. There's so much meat, it's juicy, it's tender, but you just get that light crispiness from the outside. It's such a wonderful bite. We're gonna get some of this uh, minty basil leaf right here. I'm surprised they gave so much because usually they just give a little bit. So this restaurant got a plus for me on that. Okay, ready? Okay, the flavor is definitely all there. That is delicious chicken. Mm -hmm. When you guys come and order, you definitely want to order all the other items here as well, just to sample it. So you may have seen these, these kind of squid balls in hot pots. When you bite into it, little fish roll come out. Mm. Oh, these are so good. I'm a big fan of balls that squirt, you know what I'm saying? For all of this, it is $2.30 NT, so that's about $7. I think this restaurant is more of a fancier popcorn chicken spot, but feel free to just go to like a random stall, a random cart on the street. Those are actually really tasty as well. I hope when you guys come and you guys order your own Shen Sushi that you really try to fill up with different kinds of ingredients. So get yourself some veggie, get yourself different meat, tofu, fries. Of course, maybe two portions of the popcorn chicken. That was the popcorn chicken experience. Compared to this 
and the chicken fillet. Comment below which one would you prefer more. Would you like yours in a massive chunk of chicken or kind of spread out like this with other ingredients as well? Let me know. All right, cuties, well, that was the end of the Taiwanese fried chicken tour. So we tried the chicken filet that was massive, as big as my head. And we also tried one of our local favorite, which is the popcorn chicken here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you are searching for fried chicken for dinner or for lunch, or maybe for breakfast. I'm just kidding, don't, don't eat it for breakfast. All right, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already for more delicious food content. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Why do you guys follow her?